This is Ruddy Gore in under four minutes. Okay, let's go. We begin by the seaside with the town's professional bridesmaids aboard, as there has been no wedding for months. They want Rose Maybud, prettiest girl in the village, to marry next, but are too timid to approach her. Instead, they go for Rose's much older, much more single aunt, Dame Hannah, but she has sworn never to be married, as she was once betrothed to a bad baronet of Ruddy Gore. The bad baronet, Ruddy Gore? Dame Hannah elaborates. Centuries ago, a witch hunter, Sir Rupert Murgatroyd, was cursed by a witch, who doomed him and all future baronets of Ruddy Gore to commit a crime every single day or perish in agony. We then meet Rose, whose entire moral compass is guided by a book of etiquette. She can't find a man to fit what the book says is an ideal partner. Shocker. Dame Hannah, however, suggests Robin O'Capple. Sounds like a fake name, you say. Well, that is, because it is. But let's save that drama for a little bit later. Rose says she likes Robin, but her book of etiquette says that she cannot speak until spoken to. Robin arrives and tells Rose in a roundabout way that he loves her, and they indirectly flirt, but fail to actually get it on. Robin's foster brother Richard Dauntless returns from sea and offers to speak to Rose on Robin's behalf, but when he sees Rose, prettiest maiden in the village, he falls in love with her and proposes on the spot. After consulting her book of etiquette, Rose accepts. When Robin finds out, he points out Richard's many flaws, and that is enough for Rose to break off the engagement to a man she just met and return to Robin. But who is this dishevelled person? It is Mad Margaret, who has become unhinged by her love for Sir Despard, the current bad baronet, which was derailed by the curse. She is worried that Rose is after Despard, but Rose reassures her that she is betrothed to another. Q. Despard, who explains that he does his best to balance out the curse by committing his daily required crime in the morning and does good works for the rest of the day. Now, remember that drama I mentioned? Here it comes. Richard reveals to Despard that his older brother Riven is alive and living under the fake name Robin O'Cavill. Told you the name sounded fake. Despard then interrupts Rose and Robin's wedding, exposing Robin's true identity to the whole gathering. Rose is horrified and asks Despard, another new man she just met, to marry her. He refuses her, so then Rose picks the only man left, our sailor Richard, to marry instead. Act 2 begins in the spooky Radical castle as Robin is struggling to commit any true crimes, only guilty of being a bit rude. This causes the previous bad baronets to rise from their portraits in the gallery and command him to carry off a lady that day or perish in horrible agony. Robin reluctantly agrees, sending his servant Old Adam to the village to abduct a lady, any lady. In comes Despard, who has now made up for his life of crime by marrying Margaret, to remind Robin that he is responsible for all of the crimes Despard had done in his stead, and convinces Robin not to commit crimes anymore. Old Adam returns, having abducted a most indignant Dame Hannah. She scares Robin so much that he calls out for the ghost's protection, and Sir Roderick Murgatroyd duly appears. The ghost recognises Dame Hannah as his former lover, and they enjoy a brief reunion. The rest of the characters arrive, and Robin confronts his ancestors, arguing that, under the terms of the curse, the baronets die only by refusing to commit a daily crime, which he pedantically insists is tantamount to suicide, the crime in itself. He reasons that therefore the baronets should never have died at all. Roderick the Ghost follows this logic and agrees, stating that he is practically alive. Now that Robin is free of the curse, Rose once again drops Richard for Robin. Roderick the Ghost and Dame Hannah pair up, while Richard is graciously picked up by one of the bridesmaids, Zora. <laughs>